Hello, it's Katie. Today we're going to be working on something a bit different. We're going to be working on seed beading. Now, seed beading, if it's one you haven't tried before, it's a great medium to get into, especially um, if you like more intricate detail in your jewellery and, and things. And this is called peyote. So peyote is um, a beading stitch. It can be used in lots and lots of different ways. You can even make peyote ropes. There's lots of different variations on, on a basic stitch. Uh, you can go with two drop, three drop, you can do odd and even, but we're just gonna stick today with just the basic peyote stitch. So this is an absolute beginner's guide to starting peyote. So I'm just gonna bob that down. What you're going to need is some beads. So I'm using size eight Mayuki seed beads. I will pop the details below. You can use one colour or multiple colours, it's entirely up to you. We're going to start our basic one, we're just using one of these colours. You're going to need some beading thread, so I've chosen some Wildfire in the green and um, it's a great thread, it's thermally bonded, so something like a Wildfire or a Fireline is absolutely fine. And you're going to need some beading needles. So I've got size 10 beading needles, which are perfect for, for working with your size eight seed beads. You're gonna need some scissors or some snips that are meant for thread, so you get a really nice cut. Okay, so we're gonna move straight on and start with our beginning of peyote. Now at the very beginning of making peyote, you need to make that first row. And this is what people mostly slip up on or end up giving up because um, it's quite tricky is the, the first row if you've not done it before. So what I've done is, if you want to make a whole bracelet, I would say take as long a length as you can manage. You probably will have to add in. I will make an adding in thread video at some point in the near future. But we're just gonna make a little sample piece just for now. So I've just got a shorter piece. I've probably got about 60 centimeters of thread and I've popped a stop bead on. So a stop bead is where we add a bead to our thread and then come back through the bead so it forms a little knot around the bead, but the bead will still slide. I can still move this bead along the thread because it's only going to come through twice. Okay, so we definitely need the stop bead when we start peyote. And for this one, we're going to add just move my beads down a little bit so we can see them. We're going to add a marker bead to start with. So this is going to be the bead that is going to be the bead that you're going to go through. That sounds a bit strange, but well, it'll work out as we go along. So I'm going to add a black, a green, a black, a green, a black, a green. I'm going to keep doing that until we've got 10 beads. So I've got six beads on there at the moment. So that's seven, eight, nine, ten. So I've got 10 beads on my thread. I'm gonna let those drop down. And now I'm gonna be working upwards on my thread. So my stop beads at the top there, and I've got beads coming up towards that. And I'm gonna hold this in my hand like so. So this little tail thread, I can bob that around the back just for a minute, just so I can explain where we're gonna go next. Now, you, if you don't have to use these, these beads, you can take these off at the very end, but if you want an easy start to see exactly where you're going, if you add a different coloured bead, you'll be able to see exactly where we're going. So basically I'm going to be beading in just green now, and I'm going to use those blacks as my marker beads. So I'm going to pick up a size 8 bead, and then I'm going to miss the first bead, so let's bring this up a little bit, miss the first bead, and go through the second bead, which is one of our marker beads. And then I'm gonna pull this through. So I'm pulling that through and just giving it a little tug. Now don't worry, everybody's will sit a little bit wobbly on that first go. Give it a tug so that then those two, that bead that you added and the last bead on the thread, or the first bead as we're working up, are now sat next to each other. Then we're gonna pick up another bead, miss the next bead and go through the next one, which again is one of our marker beads that we put in, that black, and pull through. Give that a little tug, and you'll find those two will sit together. Then we're gonna pick up another size eight. It's always picking up one bead at a time. Miss a bead and through the next bead, which is again one of our marker beads that we put in there on purpose. 
okay don't worry if it slips out of your hand just reposition it give it a tug make sure that bead's not slipped at the top and everything should stay in place like so then we're going to pick up another bead through our next marker bead and pull through just picked my tail up there and give that a tug and those two are going to sit next to each other we're going to pick up another eight bead now this time we'll be coming through the very last bead here so just be careful just make sure that you're not actually coming anywhere near this uh, and through this stop bead so try and use a different color as i have if you can so through that last eight but totally missing the stop bead and pull through okay now at this point give it a nice tug make sure they're all sat in place now if that last one's not in sat in place it's probably down to your stop beads come a bit slack so just holding that thread giving that one a tug it should all just come back into place so now that is our very beginnings of peyote so from here all we're doing is adding a bead into all those gaps that we've got down the side so I'm just going to work in green now so we can ignore those marker beads we only use those to create our first run so now we're going to work back downwards so back down towards myself so I've added a bead to my needle we're just going to turn around and come back down so we're going to go through that first kind of sticky out bead that's that's kind of the technical term for it these days is a sticky out bead and adding that one then I'm going to pick up another bead you won't you won't have to hold it as I'm trying to hold it so you can see for the camera and through the next sticky out bead okay picking up another bead and through the next sticky out bead like so just giving it that little tug but not pulling it too tight we don't want too much tension on it picking up your next bead and down to the bottom picking up your next bead and down to the bottom and we've completed another row so you're going to continue building up like this so it's basically picking picking up a bead and then working back up there's no kind of turning your work around there's no need to be turning it around it's just working up and down filling all these gaps in and if you if you have a look around on on the internet on pinterest you'll see lots and lots of different designs and patterns you can make by adding different colored beads but just for the basic i would stick to one color and if you have trouble starting off use those marker beads just to make life easier for yourself so giving that a little tug at the top then i'm ready to work back down again so working back down again coming down adding a bead through the sticky out bead add a bead through the sticky out bead add a bead and through the sticky out bead like so now once you get to this stage you won't be holding it like this like i'm holding it you'll be more likely holding it like this so you that once you've got to this stage you've actually got something to hold on to so i'm just going to snip it slip over to this one here because there's a little bit more to hold on to so what you need to do is make sure that when you look at your piece if you're counting rows if you need to do a certain amount of rows if you're counting rows what you need to do is make sure there's the same amount of beads at the bottom as there is at the top now if you were counting rows like this there's a lot of beads to count there isn't there so to make it easier for yourself you know that your numbers are even top and bottom if your tail is at the top and your thread is at the bottom so you know you only have to count the bottom row and not think oh, have i got an extra bit at the top if your threads are opposite to each other so that's just another little tip so again i'm just going to go through that very quickly it all we're doing now now you've got something to hold and it's a bit bigger is adding beads in all those sticky out in between all those sticky out beads like so and your piote will build up quite quickly when you're using size eights it does build up quite quickly you can use a bigger bead if you wanted to do 
Uh, it's beautiful in size 11s, but it does take a lot more time because they're a smaller bead. And it's, there's a lot of variations that I will bring you other videos very soon on different variations. Um, this is called an even count peyote. That's because we use an even number to start, but there is such a thing as odd count peyote where it's a different move uh, to change direction. This is the most simple peyote that you can get, that you can make, and you'll see it'll build up really nicely. And it's quite satisfying to have such a nice, neat piece of, um, of work in front of you. So just really quickly before I, I finish my video, I'm just gonna move on to the design that I've made up here, this one here, just for anybody who hasn't uh, made peyote before. Um, it is 10 beads, so it's exactly the same as, um, as what I've just done for you, but just to add a, a different color at each edge, you would just replace that top and bottom bead with a different color. And that's my stop bead at the top there. So all I would do is when I've got to this point, when I've added my beads and I'm ready to start my peyote, my first bead either going up or coming down is going to be the opposite color. So my first bead is going to be green and I would miss a bead, miss that first green and come through the next peachy colored bead. And then I'm gonna move back to using peachy colored beads. So I'm gonna pick up, miss one, through one, so this is working without a marker bead. Sorry, my thread just got stuck on my mat then. Pull that in. Now that happens, don't think, oh gosh, it's it's all gone, gone a mess. Just work, look at your beads and work them all back into position, like so. So now we're back into position. Try not to catch my thread again. Miss a bead and through the next bead and pull through. It is easier, I know it looks like I'm just covering up what I'm doing, but it is easier to actually have a bit more control if you put your thumb over it while you're pulling the thread through. Pick up a bead, miss a bead and come through. Like so, picking that up, tightening up that bead at the top there again. So it's all starting to take shape. Pick up a bead, I'm gonna come through that last bead which is a green bead, so we're not adding a different color. We're still, we only add a different color once at the top and ones at the bottom. So now I've got that first row in and pull my stop bead so it's nice and tight. So that is my first row, just like we did at the beginning, but this is without the marker beads and this is more of the design that I made, just adding the extra color at either end. And then just on that turn, coming back down, we're gonna add a green and all the way back down. So that's how to make it with a kind of stripe at each side. And you can make stripes all along it if you wish to. It's entirely up to you. But play around with uh, just some basic peyote. If you've never tried it before, play around just doing uh, something plain and then adding different colours and you'll be able to see how much variation you can get in it. So working that right down to the bottom. And just by changing that first bead, so you would add one green, eight peach and one green for your beginning and then it's just working your way up and down so whenever you're going to start a new row you're going to add that opposite colour. Okay and that is going to give you something like this. So a really nice wearable piece of jewellery. It's so fluid, it's beautiful, it's very tactile, it's, it's a nice one to, to kind of play with as well as, as you're wearing it and it sits so beautifully on the wrists. It's so lovely, so lovely. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed and understood how to make some basic pieces of peyote and uh, hope that those marker beads will help you get that, that first row started and get you on your way to uh, enjoying some seed beading. Uh, I've got lots more seed beading uh, projects coming up very, very soon and uh, I will make sure I add lots of videos of different basic um, techniques for, for you to learn before we go on to anything more involved. Um, make sure you like my video if you've enjoyed it today and uh, click subscribe if you'd like to see more and I will see you again soon. Take care.